The number of people who have been buying gold and silver has uh, grown exponentially. It's like a perfect storm in precious metals. So what would you steer people to when they call and they're new and they're like, what do I buy? Did you know that SD Bullion is giving away a monster box of 2023 Silver Eagles? Sign up today at sdbullion.com slash sweepstakes. All right, you're the popular guy now. Oh, God. Come on in, man. We're all happy to see this. <laughs> We're getting there, little by little. Have a good one. We got some uh, silver in there? Uh, these are maples. Maples? Yep. This is amazing. Isn't it incredible? Jim. Yes. How's it going? Could be better. The line is gone. The phone isn't ringing right now. <laughs> did so you lock the door? I did not you? lock the door. <laughs> Tempted to, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. It, silver and gold, is it dribbling in for you? It is dribbling in. That's the their, their right term to use for how slow the shipments are. And I'm getting a lot of calls. There's Only one. rings every 30 seconds. <laughs> Only rings every 30 seconds. Damn. It just seems like it. They love you, buddy. They want to buy silver and gold from you. Yeah, and, I, and a lot of people have searched around local shops. They don't have anything. It takes forever to get stuff in. Um, you know, even SD Bullion is probably going through the same thing uh, on a different scale. Um you know, it's, it's it's no wonder that some of these companies have consolidated their operations because it's, you know, you take um, three companies and they may be getting buffaloes at one, they may be getting maple leaves at another, and um, then a third company might be getting something that you would substitute for buffaloes or maple leaves. It has been very slow. Yeah. One guy has said, you know, I've had my $100,000 on order uh, for almost two months now, and um, I said, "Well, you're on a dropship for half of that, or whatever the gold portion he was on a dropship." And I'm going through the list, and more than half of them had not been sent out. Uh, but that's so, from a wholesaler. That's not from you. That's, that's from, the from the wholesaler. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's where the market is. I mean, if anybody has this stuff, they have this stuff, and they're a big one too. They're so. a big one. Yeah, yeah. but uh, you know, I. Some good news last week when I was talking with a wholesaler, um, you know, I said, well, these orders were placed before April 5th. And he said, we should have all those back to you by mid-May. All right. So and that's, that means, and I said, it sounds like you actually have the buffaloes in stock. <laughs> he said, yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of dribbling in there, too. Well, I'm not going to show the stack of orders you have here because I want to. Oh, you know, yeah, show any addresses, crazy. but it's unreal. I'm going to help you a little bit, box some, get some boxes together. And I know your daughters are going to help you out. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell just said, after raising the rate another quarter percentage point, that our banking system is sound and Very resilient. Sound. What do you think? Does that make well, you feel confident yeah, in the banking yeah, system? Well, the, the, the three banks that they gave loads of cash, I think it was truckloads of cash to, um, pass the stress test with flying colors. So, so there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah. right? And that's a good rep representative sample of banks that have truckloads of cash delivered so they can pass the stress test. Yeah. I, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Uh, it's, um, but I think they learned their lesson. Um, I've had people tell me that they, they uh, heard Janet Yellen you know, when she was on camera and before they, she finished what she was saying, they ran out to the banks to get their money. <laughs> <laughs> they have to say it's sound and resilient. They can't say it's unsound and, and teetering on collapse. That would be horrible. They can't. Yeah, I was joking with you know, the wholesaler. I was telling them that, uh, uh, do you guys actually take my money out of my account before I get off the phone? <laughs> he laughed. But it seems like they, big companies like that don't trust the banks either. And that's um, that's a little scary. It is. I tell and people to be the bank all the time. Get what they can out of the banking, public banking system, and save before it. J.P. Morgan buys them up. Exactly. <laughs> uh, do you think Jerome will be successful with this quarter 
rate hike uh, to break the economy, throw us into recession, you know, destroy jobs. I mean, is this is this going to do it? All of the above. Yeah. I don't think I don't. They don't have any tools. They don't yeah. have any tools at work. They, the world is a different place. The economy is a different thing. Um, you know, the all the finances in this country are in the hands of hedge hedge funds and you know, and um, too big to fails. Um, all they're doing is more damage. That's all they're doing. And the Fed was supposed to protect the value of the dollar, and everything it does it detracts from the the value of the yeah. dollar. Yeah. Um, it, it's almost it's almost enough to, to sit down and get angry at. But you know, they're running out of uh, choices for all the things they can sell the American public on. Um, they're not fooling anybody. They don't know what they're doing. I was trying to listen to him, but, you know, it's too busy in here. It was crazy. I know, I was listening to him live as he was speaking in here, but feels like people are reaching desperation now when it comes to wanting gold and silver. People are calling you constantly. They're practically beaten down the door. I mean, you tried to finish up around 5. It's almost 7 now. They, they just It's non-stop, and it feels like they're panicking almost i came to this late yankee uh i, I gotta go I, I i gotta get it now yeah, i had I'm, four or five phone calls like that today right and people are just starting to stack they don't know how to start and, and what to get and it's it's hard to you know because the the usual answer is you know you know one ounce rounds and buffaloes from i mean uh you know one ounce buffaloes and um maple leaves from canada right um but that's the stuff that's on the longest uh, wait. I know. I, in fact, I wanted to do a little segment here on what people should be getting. I'm looking at the eagle, right? And, Tim, this is a nice toned eagle. 2020. Yes. I thought you'd like that. You did. <laughs> Actually, I, I'm not big on toned, but this reminded me years ago oh, the when old I days, was in here. Like the old days when you used to buy the really the crappiest looking eagles. Exactly. Yeah. You, oh, man, those are the good old days. And I was getting them, and I didn't care if they were awful. I don't know if I can get that out. But anyways, would they go for the same price? They will. Okay. It's, so It's easy <laughs> enough to go back there and dip it and you know, exactly. wash it off. Yeah, so there's nothing there. I mean, and also, I was getting the scratched call circulated. Yeah, you were getting really ju real junky stuff. Yeah. It, does that exist, and is that still cheaper? No, no, we don't see it anymore. And I do have, you know, some eagles that were brought in in a bag, so they probably have scratches on them. But um, they're not going to sell for a great deal less than, you know, the thirty-five dollars for a back date and the forty-five dollars for a current oh date. My word. I just find that price just too prohibitive to me. But I know people still buy them. They're still buying your eagles. Still buy them. What about the maples? These are all partial tubes, right? You've been selling them onesie, twosie type well, thing. Well, you know, I got. At least five monster boxes on order, and they did, delivered one. Is that a good? That's a good one to go for. for it is. The, the price has gone up a little bit. Um, this was ordered so long ago. I don't know what today's price is going to be, okay. but uh, it, it could be as high as thirty-three. Could be as high as thirty-four. I see people online selling it for even more than that. Uh, you know, for the time being, this box is going for thirty-two. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. As of the making of this video. <laughs> yes, right. Yes, right. right. Yes, right. Every, everything's going to change. Every yeah, day right. things change. Um, so and that, the buffaloes are the hardest yeah. to get. This, this is buffaloes, right? These are? Yeah. It's just a, a partial tube. A few people just buy one or two of those? Not often. It, mostly it's tubes. tubes. Tubes are going out the door. And, and bars. Yeah, we don't have a lot of bars either. So what would you steer people to when they call and they're new and they're like, what do I buy? Because they, the newbies, they don't call saying, Tim, I want this, I want that, I want... They they start talking with you for 10, 15 minutes, it's, I listen. It's exactly the way it is, it, yeah. And they want to learn and they want to know, what do you? how do you help them there? Well, I'm, I'm not going to tell them to trust anything the government says because I'm not sure how you can reconcile what they're saying with what the reality is. That's the biggest problem. Um, the number of people who have been buying gold and silver has uh, grown exponentially. Uh, it is a serious problem because there it's, it's like a perfect storm in precious metals. 
You know, first the government destroys the petroleum industry. Um, and I don't know, I remember years ago, Parker Schnabel made a statement about it, or somebody said, hey, you made $12 million this year. And he said, yeah, I spent half of it on diesel fuel. And this is before the Biden administration. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to go through a lot of fossil fuels mm -hmm. if you're mining. Uh, so we're talking 75% of the silver is byproduct mining and 25% uh, are silver mines. Um, silver mines are probably all sewed up. Whatever It doesn't matter if they're in Australia or South America or in Africa. The, you know, they're, they're probably all going to China or some other you know, country that's looking for silver. Mm -hmm. uh, it just, it's not a good situation. It's a, like a perfect storm. Well, but what do you tell people, like say if somebody calls up, and I know this happens, they have say $9,000 in a check or in cash, they want to come in, Tim, and they want to buy something, and they don't know what to buy. Constitutional silver, maples, eagles, rounds, Britannias, what do you kind of... Well, those are oh, all good options. You just got Britannias down here, right? Yep. Yeah. The um, it, it's the same pretty much for everybody because they they want to know how much should I put into gold, how much should I put into silver. That's the first question. Yeah, it is. And the answer is is clear. Um, you take a chunk of the money that you want to invest, uh, or you want to have available for precious metals, and uh, decide how much of that you don't think you'll ever have to spend, mm -hmm. but you want it available in case you have an emergency. That's where you put the gold. And if, let's say it's ten thousand um, dollars, I might be inclined to get where, where somebody might say, "Well, I'll get one gold coin or two gold coins." I would say three. I would say you want to you want to spend half of that money on gold because uh, it's always there; it can always be converted when you need to. But the problem with silver is the weight, and you know when the when the supply drops down to next to nothing it's going to be way overpriced. Um, but how much do you need for barter? Well, typically you're, you're going to barter with some people you know. It's, you're not going to pay your taxes with barter. Um, you're just going to hope you have nothing to show for <laughs> when you pay your taxes. Um, but it's, it's, it will be a barter. It's already a barter. Um, but you need to decide how much of that you really need. And you want to make barter a two-way street mm -hmm. so you're not always giving away your your silver coins um, and anything is good for bar it doesn't matter if it's one ounce or dimes or quarters or halves it doesn't matter it the larger pieces are going to be harder to barter mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but you yeah know, like a hundred ounce bar yeah, that's not going to be as easy to, to bar. yeah you, you probably would rather have smaller pieces mm -hmm. but at least um, getting something that's easy enough to trade with um, you're probably not going to find that many people to trade. You know, people are going to be panicked as as the economy gets worse and worse and worse. How are you going to handle that panic? You can barely stay above water with the with the demand and the supply delays. Yeah, and we're, How is we're it talking be in another year. If it, if <clears throat> yeah, we're talking with the wholesale. I was talking about today with about stuff that I had had on order for over a month, and uh, yeah, we're going to try. By mid-May, we should have that all shipped, but that's that's a month and a half. You've never seen that before, have you? No, no. It's what a, if it's three months? What if it's four months? Five months? What if you can't? Well, we had it? we had great sources not too long ago. Remember, we were getting them from Italy. We were getting them from right. Germany. Yeah. Um, you know, Val Camby, yeah. Silver. We got IGRs. kilos from them. Yeah. IGR was a great producer. We're still getting a fair amount from IGR. Um, but we also have, you know, we getting bars from the UAE, which we didn't expect. We thought, well, they'll have more silver in Italy, but hasn't materialized. So, um, I don't know. I just think there is a lot of desperation. I well, hear there, it. there I is. Hear I got, I got, you know, the buffaloes just because I couldn't get anything else. So. Well, Tim, I appreciate taking the time. I think we've got some boxes to put together, don't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we've got some, some stuff to ship out, right? You I, wish we, to work? I wish we had more to ship out. That's the problem. It's dribbling in slowly. That's the, you know, it's, 
I'd like to have a whole order. You know, when I order four or five monster boxes or something, I'd like to see them all show up at the same time. But I know you do. This is yeah. twice in the last week and a half you've seen the guy walking with right. two boxes. Yeah. If he can carry them, that's not enough. <laughs> that's a good point. You need a two-wheeler. Hey, just just want to mention, too, for people that are ordering from the Coin and Stamp Shop, first of all, thank you. Tim really appreciates it. But please be patient. It's really an unprecedented time. There's a lot of demand. I mean, out the door type demand. And supplies are limited. He is getting it to you as soon as he can. Please allow, you know, potentially weeks to get your medals. So, yes. well, thank you. And keep in mind that Yankee is big, putting boxes together tonight. Oh, yes, I am. Let's get going on that, buddy. Thanks so much. And check out the uh, description below for Tim's info.